A brand new survey has claimed that interest in jobs with the first UK airline to allow its cabin crew to display their tattoos has skyrocketed since the announcement. Internet searches to work with Virgin Atlantic, who are also the first leading carrier worldwide to give a thumbs up to Inc., leapt by 522% on the day that the new policy was confirmed earlier this month. That's according to a leading travel blog. So, does this suggest that we're finally seeing the destigmatization of body art? Well, there's only one man, rather, should I say, one reptile for it. And he's captured my heart ever since I first laid eyes on his, his full body green scale ink work. And gosh, his, his forked tongue, the things that the, the mind boggles, doesn't it? Anyway, it's time to meet Lizard Man. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Lizard Man, how are Hi. you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm, I'm feeling so flattered now. You, <laughs> you've overwhelmed me with flattery. Well, there you go. Absolutely. I mean, so do you find that most people are terrified of you? Uh, you know, most people are absolutely not terrified of me, but I know that that's mainly a result of me appearing on television shows like this one over the years. Uh, when I first started out, yeah, I scared a lot of people. But once I had been on sort of Ripley's Believe It or Not and the local news a few times and things like that, people's opinions began to change. Talk me through why, really. I mean, I'm sure that's a question you get asked a lot, but I think it would be strange if I didn't ask it. So why? <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't ask why. That is the obvious question. It, it's also you know, one of the most difficult questions, really, because you're talking about you know, me trying to explain my entire life in a soundbite when you, you know, ask why, you know, I can ask, you know, yourself or, you know, anyone on the street, you know, why they do what they do, why they are the person they've done. It's, and I understand it's because what I've chosen to do is so out of the ordinary that people think there's got to be some strange and wild thing, but it really comes down to, uh, as an artist, this worked out as sort of the best way for me to express myself and do what I wanted to do. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, talk us through some of the things that you've got going on here. You've got something going on with your eyebrows. What's that all about? Right. So I'll take you through the, the whole sort of catalog. Yes, the most please obvious do. thing that everybody knows right away is my tattoo, right? But beyond my tattooing, I've also had uh, Teflon subdermally grafted to my skull to create the implants over my eyes. My teeth have been filed down to points via dental drill. And, of course, my tongue was the first surgical tongue splitting in history. It was burned in half using a biopsy laser. Right. Did it hurt? Did that's, The actual, it, it the actual like procedure legs. itself was painful, but not, you know, I wouldn't say, if anything, I'd say less than you would expect for having a laser burn your tongue in half, really. But the swelling afterwards was so intense. That first 48 hours afterwards was some of the worst pain that I've experienced. C can I ask, and forgive me if this is a bit crass, but do you have uh, certain people find you very attractive? Uh, there's definitely a, a fetish, whether it be for body modification in general, specific things. The split tongue definitely arouses a lot of interest. Right, yes, there was some cooing from the gallery outside, I could hear, actually, um, and it was audible. It was audible from in here, everybody. So uh, there we go. I think I've gone out on telly. Hopefully, hopefully none of your parents recognise you, you, your screens. But there we go. Uh, but um, yes, no, but L Lizard Man, just in the, in, the, in the bigger sense of it, destigmatizing body uh, modification or, or, or body right. art. Some would, the cynic in me would say that the airline industry is currently struggling to hire people and therefore they've had to kind of lower the rules, basically, and say people would tattoos can apply or, or at least show them. But is this a good step for people like you so that people, you'll become more normalized if that's possible? <laughs> right. Well, I mean, actually, you know, for myself, being a professional freak, being normalized could actually be, have a ne very negative effect. And I think you make a fair point when you say that, you know, maybe the hiring bar has been, I don't want to say lowered, but shifted. I think that, you know, and this is something that's been happening over my entire life. I just turned 50. I started getting tattooed in my 20s. And during that entire time period, I've watched tattoos become less stigmatized. I mean, when I first started off, uh, you know, having a tattoo, especially a tattoo on your face, was a big social signal that said, stay away from me, leave me Absolutely. alone. And now it's become a matter of, hey, come talk to me about my tattoos.
Look, absolutely. Lizard man, thank you very much. An absolute pleasure. And I tell you what, another benefit of your full body tattoo is that no one can tell how old you are. I mean, you say that you're 50. <laughs> you, you don't you don't look a day over 49 to me, my good man. Lizard man there, everybody. Well thank done. You, sir. Right. OK, well, thank you very much for that.